Hi, I'm Ankur Sharma. You're watching Super Football, the home of Indian football fans. So I was just roaming around the Jabal Nan Lehrer Stadium just for the sake of it. It's a big event that's happening in our country. After the performance against USA, which by the way, I am and all of the fans out there are really, really proud of, I thought it would be worth talking about the changes that we have to make against Colombia if you want to get those all three points or even one for that matter. So the first thing that we noticed in that game was the fact that USA and India have a lot of physical difference. The USA players were bulky, they were strong, they were powerful and they were winning most of the headers. So long balls will not work. Even though India do not play, the under-17 team at least does not play a lot of long balls, we need to eliminate that completely. It doesn't need to happen. Short passes, the one thing we did notice was that the boys are great on the ball. They were doing nutmegs, they were doing all sorts of tricks and the crowd was going mental and it worked. So the key is to absolutely forget long balls, play short passes and that too in the final third. In the USA game, and this is the reason why in my live video I said that India performed extremely well, they were just beat by the persistence of USA. India had their bright moments, but they never capitalized on the bright moments. They never, never sustained that bright moment. Probably the best chance of the game was hit on the crossbar and that was followed by a USA goal on the counter. That is a sign of a team that got too excited after the chance. We can't let that happen. So the next time we play Colombia or even Ghana, let's make sure that we capitalize on our bright moments. Maybe, maybe next time around, we will score. And by the way, also on the side note, had India scored that goal, it would have been 2-1 instead of being 3-0. That changes the game completely. Sends out a completely different message. 2-1 against USA in a World Cup is a great result. Think about it. Dheerat Singh is a class act. Indian national team has always had a flurry of great goalkeepers. Even right now, there's so many. Good reason, Sandhu, uh, Amarinder Singh, Subrata Paul, Vishal Keth, Albina Gomez, Devjit Mazumdar. You, you know the names. We have a flurry of goalkeepers that can step into the national team and perform when required. I think we have another in Dheerit Singh. That guy was amazing. Komal Thattel and Dheerit Singh probably were the two players who stole the show. But Dheerit Singh was probably the reason why India did not concede more. I don't believe that India deserved to lose by the margin that they did lose to. But again, it could have been bad had it not been down to the brilliance of Dheerit Singh. Delhi is definitely not a football city yet. 46,000 was the attendance in the India vs USA game, but 27,000 of those 47,000, 46,000 seats were actually free tickets that were doled out to students who came from their schools. The pickup was arranged, they were dropped to the stadium, then they were taken back from the stadium to their, uh, to their schools. And that is how they filled the stadium to make it look better on TV and also to not make it an embarrassment when the Prime Minister inaugurates the competition. And when Narendra Modi turned up, the stadium had to look full. That's a bit of a pity. Now, it's not like it was in total utter failure. It was not. Uh, there were people who did turn up, around 20,000 people who actually bought the tickets and came to the game, which is a great figure. But again, if you look at the capacity of the stadium, that doesn't really do well, does it? There are people at the ticket counter who are saying that the tickets for Colombia and Ghana are sold out and you can only buy a few online here and there. But and that is what was said for the USA game as well. So, I don't know, do your math, I guess. Indian football fans have done the Indian football fraternity proud. I think that would be my observation number five. It's more like appreciation, really. So many people travel for the India vs USA game. So many people are staying for the India vs Colombia and Ghana game as well. This is amazing. They're spending their own money to travel. They're spending their own money to buy the tickets. It's amazing the commitment that we have showed to make sure that India's first ever FIFA tournament doesn't go in vain that there are people filling the stands and there are people making those kids out there realize that they are being supported well. I think it's extremely important to nourish and also, most importantly, support these kids at this age. In the India vs USA game, uh, I saw the Manyapada, there was the Minerva Punjab kids, and there was the Blue Pilgrims, who's a supporters club, all supporters clubs is coming together. These small bunches made a really big lot and that stadium felt loud. Right guys, these were the 5 things that we did learn in the India vs USA game. If you like this video, make sure you drop a like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because we'll be in Delhi for the World Cup. And if there's anything you want to see, this is the channel you subscribe to. And also in the comments down below, tell us if you think there's something that India could improve upon in the next 2 games. And also, if you're in Delhi for the World Cup, get in touch. I'm at ANKZMMC on Twitter. If you want to meet up, we can do a video together. We could meet up, I don't know. Tell me where you're traveling from. Send me your stories. 
it'd be awesome to meet up with you guys. Till the next time, I'm Vinam Krishama. You're watching Super Football, the home of Indian football fans. And I'll see you in the next video. While this might be a big step down in terms of difficulty levels from USA, it might still prove to be a tricky one for India. The results they have had against the big teams aren't too shabby, but they are far from impressive.